Hello and welcome to the Residual Royalty Academy. If you're brand new to the channel, the best thing to do to get started is to watch the free course. It's the first link in the description and it shows you exactly how to get started with KDP and make your first 50 or 100 bucks and start making some passive income. If you're already pretty experienced on KDP, then take the Royalty Accelerator course if you so choose because it's going to show you how to really blow up your royalties and take them to the next level. So in this video, it's a very important one and a big celebration because I have hit $15,000 in royalties, which I'm absolutely ecstatic with. So you can see here, this is between April 2019, when I started KDP, and March 2020. We're on the 1st of March right now, or it may be the 2nd actually right now, uh, and you can see that there's 1,541 bucks in my library. Now that number hasn't been going up too much recently because I've been focusing on these high content books, which are 30,000 words long, which means they take a little while, but hopefully my royalties will be spiking very very soon and my income will go way way up so that's it for the first tab let's now go on to the second tab so you can see the earnings by month so my very first month on kdp was 80 dollars in april and then 310 and then 1100 in june of 2019 that's when i had some father's day books do really well and just a quick note on that one make sure that you publish in niches even if there is high competition, because when I was publishing these Father's Day notebooks, there was over 10,000 results, and I still managed to get two books on the first page, which accounted for around $600 of the royalties in this month. And then you can see here, July was 637, 763 in August, 829, climbing, 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 1096 in October. And then quarter four started to take effect, so November was 2,300, with December then at 5,600, which is absolutely phenomenal. At the moment, I'm just being paid these royalties because, as you know, it's the end of the month plus two months, which is when you receive your royalty payouts from Amazon. January was 1,161, and February was slightly lower with 1,060, which I'm still pretty happy with, and I'll make a video about my February royalties soon and as you can see we're on the 2nd of march right now and we're already at 50 dollars which is pretty nice considering i've not made any low content books in a while i'm really really happy with this and i'm sure that when my big 30,000 word books all start going alive soon on kindle on audiobook and the paperback forms i'm sure my royalties will be picking up and then i can also start to make some more low and no content books as well because regardless of what people say it is not saturated and if you make the right books put them in front of the right people and make sure that people like the books and people will buy them and you can make really amazing money. So let's now go on to this third tab on Book Report. You can see that inside this circle are all my different pen names. So a few of the pen names have led to almost half of the sales. And then there's a lot of pen names down here that also give rise to this half here. You can see that 51% has been from the USA, 45% in the UK, 1% in Germany, and some sub 1% in these other countries down here. And you can see again the total there. $15,040, which corresponds to 7,118 sales, which is around $2.20 or $2.30 per book on average, which is pretty good. And that's because I price my books a little bit higher than maybe other people do, just because I know that they're good quality. And I don't want to engage in a race to the bottom where everybody's just putting their prices below everybody else's and everybody ends up having their books at $4, which just isn't the ideal scenario. So what I'm going to do now is go onto this website here, trophystore.com code uk not while i'm filming the video but just a little after and i'm going to get myself a little reward and a little memento to represent hitting this milestone i did this when i got to three thousand dollars and the trophy is on my desk at home at the moment i'm out in singapore so i will order this to my home and that way when i get home it's always going to be on my desk to remind me of my past success to motivate me to achieve some more success so on this tony robbins website here it says i use my success to fuel my drive to take steps towards my next goal having a great cup of coffee, sitting back and contemplating what I've accomplished, being thankful and using that energy to propel me forward. That's what I've just been doing as well on the balcony. I'll put a screenshot up in the top right hand corner of the balcony outside my room in Singapore, which is pretty incredible. And yeah, before the video ends, I just wanted to quickly talk about the feedback loop. So what the feedback loop is, is let's say you have an idea. For example, you have an idea to start KDP and then you take the most important step, which is action. And then you get some feedback, which is either negative, i.e. not many royalties, or it's positive, hopefully. And we can draw some arrows. Let's take uh, green. Green, the color of money. So idea leads to action. Uh, and then from the feedback, you can decide what to do. So if it's positive, you'll take more of it. If it's negative, you'll change your strategy, maybe do something slightly different and make sure that the next feedback is positive. So we can do another feedback. This is just an example of a feedback loop. 
So this one is then positive. And then we have success. So when you hit success, you've got to make sure that you celebrate it in order that you take some more action. Let me draw this one here. When you realize that you've achieved success and you take a minute to reflect and you take maybe a couple of days to reflect and say, wow, you know, I'm doing amazing. I'll just keep going. Then you take more action and then you get more feedback and hopefully more positive feedback and you get more success and the loop just keeps going on and on. But if you do this and you get the success and you forget to celebrate it, then you're going to be less motivated to take more action, which leads to more success. So this is why I'm going to order myself just a little trophy to sit on my desk when I get back home so that I can always be reminded of my past success to fuel me to future success. So $15,000 in royalties has been hit. And the next step for me is to get to $30,000 in royalties. That'll be absolutely incredible. And hopefully it won't be too long with the introduction of these new book types I'm creating. So if you do want me to show you how I'm creating these books and where I'm learning from and all of this stuff, then just comment below. I will make a video about it. Or if alternatively you want me to make more low content videos, then just comment that down below as well. So I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video, which will be on Wednesday. So until then, I hope you have a great couple of days and I'll see you again soon.